Oh yeah, because that, that'll be a really good, nice visual cue that we can't see. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you and uh, welcome everyone uh, to another very exciting match within the Voyeur Duck Dash. Um, I'm here with one of my absolute favorite people uh, within the Discord server, uh, Groovensight. How you doing, mate? I am doing wonderfully. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're, we're here today to watch and, and commentate on a match between uh, Elsie and Ace283. Uh, have you have you played either of those two recently? Have you have you seen anything that, that people should watch out for? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I think I've 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 played them both maybe once or twice. Um, I mean, you know, they they both uh, I know have have played quite a bit, and so uh, you know it should be uh, it it should be a, a good match. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so so far, uh, Elsie um, has got a buy in the first round uh, because of her ranking in the actual rubber ducky competition, which took zero skill at all, but she did extremely well to to get to fourth in that, uh, and then has just beaten Cheese Dreams. Uh, and Ace um, overcame Bushnit and then uh, a Comedian to, to now be versing Elsie in this third round match. So, um, and the, the joy for this one is the winner goes on to verse Ronster 7 in a in the round 4 match. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's that's a tough draw. Ronster's solid, but... Uh... You know, so are so are these two. So let's, uh, yeah. I think we should I kick mean, it off, eh? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Ace. If you want to formalize and send that invite through to to Elsie, um, and we'll get this match underway. And uh, definitely wish both the competitors the best of luck in in game one of potentially three. There we go. Oh. One, two, right, three, go. Think... <laughs> Ace is sending it through now. I think Ace is just resending it. I think there might have been a bit of a timing error on that. No. Uh, Wait, are they wingspan, both sending an invite to each other? Wingspan. Having a, You have us mixed up. Oh, my bad. Okay. I had them another one way around. Okay. Yeah, you send it through, Ace. continue to go with my plan good luck and um sorry for that mix up faux pas number one tick uh, and i think that might be bingo square number one already completed before the the match has even started yeah yeah <laughs> yeah well hey there's there's going to be a ton of them so we might as well get one out of the way oh my goodness there's a wood duck in the tray yeah but there's also a crow which is which is not the worst second place bird there you know like that's that's not horrible so um i think it's pretty clear for me though and i'm pretty sure you agree that you'd probably be jumping at the, the wood duck pretty pretty quickly though right oh yeah i mean the wood duck you know especially with the with the house rules which for anybody watching who doesn't know you know is the the chihuahuan raven the common raven the franklin skull and the killdeer you can't play those until round two so even uh you know, with the house rules, like the the wood duck is is maybe the best bird. Uh, you know, after those after those four, so yeah, that that to me is is instant instant pickup. Yeah. Um, you know, the unfortunate thing about it, 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 or just the a little bit of a of an you know inconvenience, whatever, is it does have it, you know it's it's food cost right. It does have two of the same food, which which early on is. Uh, you know, is is a minor inconvenience, but yeah, I mean, you take the wood duck, take take a wheat out of the tray, get it yeah. down, and and get going. So with with this, would you with the setup that Ace has here, would mm. you be going with um, this um, the woodpecker, um, which is going to get you a lot of extra food while you're doing that, or would you be going something like the canvas back, which is actually really nice for all the end. Of round goals or the first three end of round goals here with with eggs what would you be yeah. sort of thinking 
Well, here's the thing, you know, the, the, so the sapsucker and the wood duck, uh, you know, both of them qualify for, for this end of round goal. And I think that, you know, you want to get that, that wood duck down and, and start drawing cards as, as quickly as possible. And so, you know, you're not really, anytime you have the wood duck, which is, is brilliant because of course it allows you to draw cards in the forest. Um, you don't really need to worry, I think, about, about getting a card down in in your uh, your wetland so much. And so, uh, you know, my approach would be, you know, you keep the sap sucker because, like you say, it does uh, allow you to get that additional additional food, and it's food from the supply. Uh, so you you know you know that you're going to get a lot of grubs. You can plan around that, and just I would I would keep the sap sucker and uh, you know and and for food and and just get cranking on on getting that that wood duck tap sucker set up and then just start drawing cards because you're gonna get to draw i mean yeah you're right the canvas back does fit in with those with those end of rounds but with the wood duck you're gonna draw uh you're gonna get to draw a lot of cards so uh you know i to me i would i would go for a little bit of a faster setup and getting that grassland but i i do see the argument for for keeping the canvas back mm. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, let's have a look over at Elsie's here. So Elsie's already picked out the owl. Has an absolute fantastic bird here in the grebe as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and has likely going to be able to get the raven, um, the, the crow, right? So um, I'm not sure that I'd, I'd do exactly what Elsie's doing here. I, I, I probably myself would go slightly different and, and not take the owl. Uh, um, I'd probably just take the Grebe, plan on taking the Crow, and just seeing what I can do out of this. But, um, I didn't see Elsie's bonus cards. Did you? Oh, Falconer. Okay. That yeah. does change things a little bit with that owl. Yeah, what she's probably looking at there, she's probably thinking, okay, that owl is, is you know, six points for one food, right? And it's... Mm -hmm. uh, Which is it's awesome. A, Great yeah, food to point ratio. Yep, yeah, it's a it's a... You know, and it's a different food from the, the birds that she's looking at keeping. You know, it, it's it's a rodent. But I think, uh, you know, so I, I see the argument there. I think, though, I might, I might be looking. I mean, that, that cowbird, uh, you know, the cowbird grebe pro combination. Uh, I think, you know, I, I'd be tempted to... You know, maybe pass on pass on the owl and start because with that crow, you know, you're going to be able to to generate. The, food. I, I think, of course, you are going to run out me, of egg space quickly, but yeah, exactly. But my, for me, I wouldn't be going the cowbird one, knowing that my opponent's going to get the wood duck, and I spend a lot of time in the the forest. Two, mm. um, I'm going to go spend a lot of time in the grasslands with my crow, so I don't really want to over egg myself. And you don't have yeah. a lot of birds that have a lot of egg spots. The crow, the grebe, the, um, and the owl are all only two egg spots. Um, I would have gone slightly different here to else, but I still think this is pretty solid. This is, seems to be pretty straightforward as well with the wood duck. Um, and then the crow um, being snapped up here by else. Yeah. So we'll just sort of see how this progresses. Yeah, so kind of looks like Ace is taking the taking the approach of you know getting that getting that wood duck down ASAP, which which I think is a good one. Yeah, what do you, what do you think about potentially with the wood duck using that to pick up the wren, um, laying the wren down instead of the sap sucker, so that you get another two cards, which is just going to give you a lot more maneuverability with the wood duck because you're going to have a lot of extra cards in case you start picking up two nice ones in a turn and having to work out which one you discard, you've got to have a lot of uh, cards there just as a base level. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I can I can see the argument for that, but I think the, the benefit of that sapsucker, I mean, you're going to be able to get three food in a shot, and so... Uh, you know, I, I do see where you're coming from. And if, if they had something like, uh, you know, the, say, the American Robin, right? Something that's going to, or the, the Yellow Rump Warbler, where you can tuck cards, you know, in your in your grassland. I could I could see more of an argument for it there. 
Um, but I think I would be more inclined. Oh, oh. nice draw. Now Speed. this is going to be interesting. Another nice card here, and this is get this it's difficult. And this is where I'm sort of leaning towards that with the Ren is having those extra cards. Um, I mean, this one looks like it's going to be fairly easy to get rid of in the Kinglet. But the only problem with the Sap Sucker, in my opinion, is how are you getting it down right now? There's no cherries. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just going to keep drawing cards, whereas you could pick up the Ren right now and lay eggs and play it and get start getting two food per turn, have some extra eggs in play, um, cards in play to be able to tuck and, and do different things that you need to. There you go. Still no, still no cherry. Yeah, and see, I think that I think the swallow does does change things a little bit with the wren because you know you can you can get the uh, you know get the swallow down, uh, and uh, in your grassland the wren will throw a couple extra cards your way, and you can you can actually tuck those cards now uh, with that with that swallow. So I, I think there's you know there's there's definitely more more merit to it there with uh, having yeah. the having that tuck card. Yeah, how nice is this owl for um, Elsie? Like, just going straight away, you've got two cards in the Falconer. It's a 5.1 uh, one food costing bird. You start setting up your, your forest really nicely, really early. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, at, I'm also leaning to the fact that this crow is going to become less, not as valuable with this, but um, it'll be interesting to see how Elsie sort of plays this. Yeah, I mean, I would be looking to do what she's doing, which is which is get the grieve down. Uh, you know, then I think that based on the food she's keeping, her her thought is she's going to get the sparrow down, which which makes sense because then you can, uh, you know, you you do have to lay eggs here pretty soon, and so if she gets that sparrow down, she can lay lay three eggs and then uh, so play the sparrow, lay eggs, and then look at uh, you know drawing. Uh, getting to, to draw some additional cards. So yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see how Ace goes with this. Are they, they're just going to force down the Sepsoka, which I think, like you sort of said, um, definitely uh, enables them to get more food. Uh, but was it a few sort of extra turns that just weren't needed? Yeah, no doubt. Now I'm looking at. Uh, I'm just looking at, at the chat here, and, and Tay points out, uh, Tuck and Cash, you want to, you know, you want to get the the crow down first so that she doesn't have to keep going back to her forest uh, yep. and i think that's that's a really that's a really great point yeah i mean if, if you're going to do that i definitely would have done it before the sparrow um use the food to one of the two foods to to put down the crow and then use the crow very next turn to get the food back uh, and then lay down the sparrow um i think that's a slight ordering problem uh disadvantage of the way that elsie's done it How are we shaping up for for the end of round here? I'm guessing that. Uh, well, Elsie... currently it's one egg to none, but Elsie has the ability to lay down three eggs and and has a starbird down there, so we'll be able to get three eggs down pretty easily. See again, this is this is interesting for me in regards to the way that um, uh. Ace is looking at this like this is where those extra couple of cards from the Ren being able to get that down early getting all that extra food from having that bird down and getting two rather than one would have been really beneficial. They're starting now starting to draw two cards at the same time that they like and not and having to get rid of one of them. The else takes round one also shows a fish crow which is amazing. Uh, and as much as that hawk is normally pretty trash, once you add a falconer to it and it's an eight-point bird, it, it, it definitely looks a lot better. Truth. Yeah, no doubt. Now, she's looking at the crane here, which... Uh, yeah, I'm know, not sure about. Well, that could be that could be a good pickup for... Well, for one, I guess it does, it does give her another uh, ground nest bird 
for this end of round, but I I don't know that uh, she's necessarily gonna need it. It could also be a pickup for later, where you know she's got the she's got the crow, and so uh, you know in the in the later stages when she's she's already set up on on food. Um, because, you know, the crow is only going to be able to give you one piece of food, so it's like you can't use it along with the crane to help you gain food to play birds if you're, if you're going to be feeding the crane. But it is, you know, it does allow you to trade that, that one egg into, uh, yeah. into, into two points for the crane. So maybe I could, I could see picking it up for, for the, you yeah. know, for kind of I, the later I, stages. I, I, I honestly don't like it. It, the, the main source of Elsie's food is going to be the crow which is going to be quite slow to get a three uh, food bird down is going to use a lot of that and then you're going to be using that majority if Elsie had kept the other bird it was one food they could have got it from the crow put it down generated a lot of cards and then really hit stuff home it also would have been really nice for the third end of round having that extra ball nest as well so um yeah I, I definitely would have gone slightly differently there well not, I just would have gone the opposite pick there between between those two So what's what's Aces thinking here? I mean, when you're looking at you look at Aces hand, kind of what do you what do you think they ought to be? I'd definitely be for? throwing the swift swift here. I think they're looking at pivoting pretty quickly away from the forest and and going to the grasslands, which I think is fine. Um, and then using the the tucking birds um, that they've got. Um, although I'm really surprised that they picked up the crow just to discard it. Like I, I don't think they have the card generation here for that that white throated swift. Uh, I just don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I mean, in order to to feed the swift, you've you've got to have, you know, a good a good setup where you're you're going to be generating a, a lot of cards and and yeah, I just I just don't don't see it. I mean, I think. Uh, you know, so they're gonna go Mountain Bluebird, and then I assume the, the swallow. into Swallow, right? Yeah. So just then a really getting... small thing, just just quickly on on Elsie's turn. Um, Elsie picked up a fish, which I can only assume that she's gonna be using for that crow. There um, would have been a slightly better pick, which would have been taking one of the invertebrate. Um, the reason for that is you don't give an easy re-roll to your opponent, so. Uh, LC, rather than ha when there was a fish and two invertebrates left, she picked the fish and the opponent just gets a re-roll re and look at a whole new tray uh, of new bird feeder, where she takes that, they have to take either a slug or a fish, which they might not actually want, to um, to then get a fresh fresh roll. Just really, really small um, thing, but it, it does make differences in these sort of games. Oh, sure, yeah. If you're, if any time that you're, you know, indifferent to the the kind of food that you need which in the case of you know getting the crow down i mean it's a wild food you are um yeah i mean then then your bird feeder uh strategy is going to be what is uh you know what's what's best for for slowing down my opponent or giving my opponent this you know fewer options and so yeah you're you're exactly right Yeah, so Elsie Elsie's looking to looking to build that grassland out, which I which I think is good. She's gonna need uh she's gonna need to start drawing cards and uh you know, picking up some some additional cards to play here so uh so that she can keep uh you know, she can keep keep building that out. I mean she really just needs to, I think, kinda, you know <laughs> the forget about her forest a little bit and start picking up some more cards. I mean, I, I know the Barred Owl, it's a five-point play, or oh, a four-point play after you deduct the egg, right, with the Falconer, but yeah, if I'm if I'm her, I want to I want to see some some additional cards like that. I don't, I don't think she's got a need to play that Barred Owl right now. Uh, Chop, you alright, brother? Alright, 
guess guess chop is is having some audio issues so y'all are stuck with me um so let's see coming up here on the uh end of round it looks like uh so far they're tied on the uh on the two ground nests uh you know ace here is going to be looking to uh that cowherd's a nice bird for them i think they have uh, especially if they get that canvas back down they'll yeah they'll have uh quite a bit of of egg space and anytime you know that your opponent uh has has a you know that crow sparrow set up uh as elsie does in the grasslands you uh you know you're you're gonna expect them to to lay eggs quite a bit so that that brown-headed cowbird particularly if it only costs one food uh you know can become quite a uh quite a powerful bird i expect ace to be able to pick up a lot of a lot of eggs from that uh, so let's see uh and ace is shaping up uh already they've got three birds towards uh their bonus card so the next uh the next ground nest they, oh they got rid of the cowbird i do not i don't care for that at all um i mean that's a bird you get that down it's okay it's three points on its own you've got you know, you've got plenty of egg space that's probably over the course of you know the rest of the game you figure else he's gonna run that grassland like say five or six more times that's a that's a strong uh, it's a strong bird. I definitely would not have uh, would not have tossed that one. No, uh, that bubble link that could be or bobo link, bobo link. I I don't know that we ever got a verdict on the uh, the official pronunciation for that. Um, but uh, that could be a nice. Uh, you know, end of game drop for uh, for Ace. You know, particularly. Uh, I mean, if you look, it's it's a bird that that goes toward their bonus card, so they're gonna have a lot of. Uh, you know, they'll they'll have several several ground nests played to uh, uh, to lay eggs with on that bird. So that could end up being a really strong play. Uh, Towards the towards the latter half of the game, um, and uh, yeah, Chop uh, Chop said they they have to restart. So back. Uh, ah, we got him. Did uh? Sorry about that, everyone. No, no, it's all it's all good. They uh, you know, I was just I was just boring them to death with my uh with my my monotone uh you know sounding like uh a bit like you know bill lumberg from office space like yeah yeah i'm gonna need you to play that in your grassland um, <laughs> so nice nice did we lose elsie's there we go we're back we're back i don't know what's going right. on for me but also we're just we're just having uh, all the technical difficulties possible. Ace is, Ace is rebooting here. Uh... Yeah, I was just having a lot of, uh, I don't know, like, it seemed to be like bandwidth issues. So uh, whenever you were talking, you sounded like a robot that was like, whatever you were saying for five seconds was taking about 15 seconds to get out. So, um, well, well, but, was, but, really uh, but Chop, you're just, you're just describing how I sound already. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, but mean, the, I mean, I, I sound like a that. robot, and it and it takes fifteen seconds for me, or it takes fifteen seconds for me to get five seconds of talk out. So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, all good, all good. So, um, how did we go on that end of round? That second one did um, did Elsie pick that up? Uh, you know, I I missed it, Chop. Okay. <laughs> all good. I, 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 uh, the the world is 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 crashing around me and i'm i'm just uh i'm i'm reaching for some debris to hang on to <laughs> so, 
<laughs> no, it's uh, right. I'm back. I would say I'm back. Yeah, I would say the. Uh, I was I was kind of surprised. Like Ace Ace picked up the cowbird and then and then tossed it. Ditched it. Yeah, and kept so, the, the this white throated swift, which I said is no good. Do not tuck this burrowing owl. This burrowing owl. Oh my god. Why would you? Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, why you would keep the hawk over the owl? I mean, that's the one thing. I, yeah, yeah. One I like thing the hawk. I I, I would have hawk and the burrowing owl. You have a stack of eggs. You can smash through. You can tuck the other ones through the barn swallow. Find a really big point bird and go. Yeah. 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 No doubt. And I mean the you know the uh, the and I can't remember the name of the bird. The the burrowing owl. You know it it it's great for your end of rounds. It's uh you know it it goes towards your bonus card. It's two food. Uh that you can you can easily afford yeah i'm uh i'm i'm not a fan of that that tuck oh, i'm i'm really interested here like i i i've definitely moved away from um the sandhill crane canada goose combos um just because i think that realistically that the best way that elsie had to win this match was to be going laying eggs and using the, the crow to, to lay birds and and doing this you've just she's just really reduced her ability to get food and eggs at the same time she kind of needs to use the crow and the crane together and and go through with the the owls in the forest to get food to be able to lay these finches and mergansas and and co so um i just think it's it's quite restrictive yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, what it's you know with with uh, with one of the ravens, it's a different story, right? Because you can still generate mm. a piece a piece of food in addition to the food that it it costs you to use use the crane and 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 the crane. You know, when you look at a combo like the crow and the crane, right? Essentially, it's you know you look at the crane and you think, oh, okay, it's it's two points. You've got to spend the egg to get the two points. So it's really you know in the crow is giving you. The, the, between the crow and the play. crane, they're they're averaging out a point a piece, right? And yeah. so, yeah. So there's, it, it's, you know, you you can kind of look at. There are other birds that you know that can that can give you more play, and of course, anytime you're you're investing uh, all those eggs or those turns and and getting down. Uh, a three-point bird there's there's a here's here's your economics everybody there's an opportunity cost there with, which is you know to the the cost of of other birds that you could be playing or or you know or whatever so um yeah yeah no i i agree just thinking back as well about the burrowing owl that we were, i was so dev dev devastated that was tucked away it actually would have worked really well with the enclosure builder, <laughs> having that extra star nest as well. Uh, it basically would have would have completed at least the base of that. So, um, which uh, which bird was that mean? The burrowing owl that uh, oh yeah, the yeah. ace tucked away. Yeah, and another thing too, you know, like I think a, a bird that often gets overlooked is the you know the like the bobolink or the those uh, those those white. You know the when played powers that that mm. lay eggs. You you remember that like th there's a nice synergy here between Ace's bonus card, which is those those ground nests, and and mm. that because every time you play a bird like the burrowing owl, right, is is going to qualify for that bubble ink. Like you're going to be you're going to get an extra egg out of it. So it's it's yep. like one it's like one additional point that 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 burrowing owl is is worth in addition to all the other benefits of it that we've we've talked about. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so I think, you know, if you look at that, I mean, the hawk is a is a better, you know, it's a stronger hunting power than the burrowing owl because of the, you know, it, it, it hunts from the deck rather than the feeder. But, yep. uh, but I, yeah, I just the, would have liked both of them, right? Yeah. Oh, that, that omnivore pull with uh, Cassin's Finch for Elsie is a, is a pretty amazing pull. Like, that does really suit the crane-crow combo. And this Merganza just became a 9-point Wonderbird. 
Oh, yeah, because it qualifies for the Falconer as well. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So minus the egg, eight points, but for a two, two food is pretty amazing. Oh, oh and does. rolls the single. Lovely. Well done, else. Con conspiracy time. Not conspiracy. That's pure skill. Like it, it, it takes a lot to do that. You've got to really roll that one dice is perfectly to nail that that one available rat on there. The that's one in true. six. That's true. O OP Screech Owl, look at that. That's uh, with the Falconer. That's that's nine points there with those hunts. Mm. It 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 it's matching, um, hunt for hunt with the bar, um, Bard Owl. Like, yeah, that, that Eastern Screech Owl is like, hey, don't forget me, man. Yeah, yeah. I might not qualify for the Big Bird, but I I've got power here with my fifty-one centimeter wingspan. <laughs> yeah, it's in. Uh, it's like in the. the the wing wingspan purgatory, like a too too big to be passerine, too small to be large bird. Yeah, Huffin gets me with that every time. You know, rough. Just having the um, the 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 old fifty centimeter. You know, it's also like rough where you it's it doesn't qualify as a big bird, but it also um, can't even get tucked by the road runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No All right, doubt. What, what is the plan here for these guys? What is these last couple of turns going to bring? Um, I'm assuming else is just going to do some some tucking, laying eggs, getting the grain, and doing the uh, crow-crane combo. I'm interested to see, is that the same thing um, as what... Uh, Ace is going to do just lay eggs um, and go and tuck through the barn solo. If you happen to pull some amazing bird, then then fantastic. But other than that, you've got the food for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think what Ace has done with you know picking up that picking up that crossbill with the swallow was a good idea because with that you know with that downy woodpecker, I mean that's that could be a nice little uh, I don't know about a six point play or so. Um, yeah, five. So I, but yeah, I mean, you got the food for it as well, um, and you got you're going to run out of eggs. Um, obviously, something like a um, painted bunting or something like that would be the absolute dream. It just finishes you off with this fifth bird. It's a bonus card bird. It, you've got the food for it. You know, something like that would be the dream. Yeah, I mean, I think basically you you kind of tuck. You know, you tuck that bluebird until you, to see if you can. Uh, yeah, you got two you got turns the, for free, right? Right. Yeah, they've they've got, uh, you know, eight egg spots. So and and they can only do four eggs a pull. So I I think what they should do is run the, you know, run their run their egg thing twice. Uh, yep. See if they pick up a you know a fifth grassland bird and. Uh, but it looks like yeah, no. Look, I, I agree with you, and, and um, I think that that comes with um, a little bit of experience, just being able to take pause and and see what the best best opportunity is to do. Um, to because you don't need to rush it in that situation. They had the ability to lay four lots of eggs twice without losing anything, and then then making the best decision possible. Um, yeah, yeah, and I come with this. Yeah, and I I do like I mean it's you know not to be too harsh on on Ace but because like, like I I do like that that woodpecker crossbow combo I mean after you factor out eggs it's a six point play and they're 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 only getting you know five or some, depending on the hunt sometimes six out of the grassland so like okay six points is 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 good but it's mm -hmm. uh, they could they could improve it by focusing on the timing of the play you know they that's a yeah. play that could have they like you said they had the egg space and everything they they could have run their grassland twice and then done the six point play on the last turn if they didn't get something could, better in, in the meantime and and something better really easily looks like um uh oriole bunting uh you know or, um Baltimore Oriole, like, you know, a nine point bird, you lay it, it's eight points, and that's just one bird, um, and it's really easily just a better better play, and you wouldn't know that you would get that at that stage. Oh, look at Else with those bonus cards. Keeping up. No. I think Ace no. just has this, though. Just with the tucks. 
Oh! Oh! oh. Just wow. Else, else did really well there, just to 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 keep up with that um those those early plays. But that is a that is a tight first game. That is a tight yeah. first game. Solid, solid it's... game. I mean, anytime you you score in the nineties, that's that's good. These these two uh, both did both did very well. Let's just uh, bring them back in, make and uh, check in on them. Yeah, let's do it. Game one, a one point affair. How do you how do you feel? Uh, pretty nervous. Make a lot of mistakes. That's right. We we all make mistakes, Ace. But at the end of the day, you you got the win, my friend. Yeah, very well. Got the win from from LCS. That's yep. quite so, so yep. scary. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was really solid. It was really solid. How how you feeling, else? Uh, I wish I could have gotten one extra point somewhere, but honestly, <laughs> I'm owl, so I'm just gonna blame the screech owl. Yeah, sure yeah. Been, so. Oh, hundred percent. He was he was um, doing so well, but you know, one more, and uh, unfortunately for you, uh, Ace had about three food. So even if it was one yeah. more, it was it was winning on count back. So, um. But yeah, well done. Very tight, very entertaining game. Lots to lots to talk about. Lots of different strategies. So uh, it was a it was a very nice trade. Like you know, uh, Wood Ducks obviously a fantastic bird, but but having a crow there as a backup is is really really nice. Um, second bird there for you, else. Yeah, I got lucky with my omnivore. Oh, that was that great. How sexy was that Meganza filling into both of them? It's yes. gone, you know. That was amazing. All right, should we? Should, are you? Do either of you need a a quick bathroom break or a drink, or you you happy just to kick on straight into to game two? I am good for game two. Me too. Awesome. All right. Uh, else, did you want to um, send this one off? Uh, Seeing okay. as you'll be starting first for this one. Yes. All right, and uh, good luck to you both. And I, I'm gonna s sort of mute you guys and deafen you again. Bye. Wow. All righty. Height. It's really going to be interesting because if Else can get this win uh, for this game, um, it's going to be. Um, you know, could easily get the lead off in, in game two. Um, game three, sorry, just due to the fact that um, it was only a one-point win by Ace there, and, and game three is decided by overall who scores the most points over the two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do we got here? This is really nice for Else. I, I, I love any sort of nuthatch, chickadee sort of starts, and, and the Grebe is just sexy as well. Yeah, that's that's... Two uh two A tier birds, I believe, for the for the start there. Yeah. Yeah, I, she's looking at keeping the hawk. I wonder what the what the thinking is there. Is it? I mean, it goes with the bonus card and whatnot. But yeah, she's uh, to like to me. I I think this is you know you keep the nut hatch, you you keep the grebe, and then uh you know kind of get get the grebe down and start start digging for cards. Maybe uh yeah yeah. I mean I, the gre the grebe also works for the this bonus card in the platform builder but it also works for the first end of round and the last end of round like it i'll be very very surprised if um else doesn't take that grebe uh for me I'd, as much as you've got the platform I, I would definitely consider leaving the hawk behind but um i think it's still safe to take the nut hatch the hawk and the grebe get the nut hatch and the grebe down and then and save the hawk for a little bit later yeah, I think she's probably looking at then. Oh, uh, yeah. She, I, well, she's gonna. She's looking to draw the canvas back. Is is, you know what I'm thinking. Yeah. I, I look. I, I agree with you, but why not get the grebe down, get the canvas back, have two starbirds in your forest, 
uh, which works towards your platform builder. Um, yeah, yeah, really, I mean, really I, I think the greeb, yeah, and the, and the you know the greeb is you know it's just the one food. Mm. Greeb's a great bird. It's five points as well. Um, so um, over to, over to Ace. This is this is a rough starting hand. How do you think you would start with this one? Yeah, I mean, if I'm Ace, I'm 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 kind of praying that 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 canvas back doesn't get picked up and actually so that that is gonna turn out working uh you know working really well for Elsie. i mean i whew, you know the thing the thing in the beginning and i you know really want to make sure that you have kind of a, a a way to get cards you know and so uh i'd be looking at uh god this this is just not not a good setup um i'd be looking at pro maybe planning to pick up that that bit turn if the canvas back is not is not available and yeah. i don't know maybe you keep the oh maybe you keep yeah the the, i suppose bill. maybe you don't the, the bitten's not too bad and I, I i do I, I was definitely thinking about but just keeping the ninga uh, and then Playing it again, the fish playing it, keeping four food, uh, and then drawing, laying eggs and drawing. But um, I don't don't hate the the bit earned thought. It's it's a one more point, but it is one more bit of food. So the Aninga, you're gonna have a lot more food left over to, to be able to play some other birds. So yeah, if this was me, I'd, I'd probably just take the Aninga and that's it. Grab the fish that's out of the the tray, play it, and then then see how I go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, we, maybe some different approaches you could take, but, but for sure it's, it's not, uh, not a good starting hand. Yeah. Very, very unlucky. I think, I think this snow bill is a little bit greedy, to be honest. Um, and, and a little bit short sighted in regards to, yeah, it's going to give you a bonus card, but you're taking all of your food to be able to do this and, and you don't have any food generation whatsoever. So, um, it's definitely something that I I made the mistake of playing um, early days, probably even middle days at, at times before I really started focusing and, and thinking about each decision and why I was doing it. Yeah, I mean they've they've got you know looking at these these birds they're playing they're gonna have they're gonna have a real problem with with food generation. You know they're gonna they're gonna dump all their food into what into the spoonbill and then grab cards for the or take food twice mm, uh, see it, it this is this could be not too bad um depending on how elsie plays this elsie could play the canvas back grab the woodpecker uh lay, lay sorry lay two eggs grab the woodpecker grab another bird don't use the canvas back because you don't want to give your opponent a free card oh my god um oh. and then <laughs> um and then lay both the the nut hatch and the woodpecker down straight away um, I think you need to get one food, but you, you'd start being able to generate it. But that that blind roar of the raven is just <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, particularly you know when you're we're just talking about food food generation. I mean, they they are going to have a uh, it's going to be a really slow start. Um, mm. you know, because they're going to have to no doubt spend uh, a lot of turns. You know, getting getting food if they want to they want to use that that uh that raven at all but i'm um, really surprised that ace is putting down this meadow lark i mean obviously they're going for the first end of round but when you have no other bird to use it with right although you know they they might be thinking okay lc doesn't have uh you know, uh, a ground nest bird. Although, uh, as soon as, of course, Elsie sees that metal lark, I mean, she's going to be thinking, "Great, I got all this space on this canvas back," uh, and and they don't have another ground nest bird. So, um, it's one of the things I love about the you know the pileated woodpecker so early, right? Is like you can mm -hmm. get that down, and and if your opponent doesn't have a cavity nest bird, you can just that's shove, shove the, it. There's on. nothing worse in this game than 
someone giving you a free egg and you going, I can't play this. Please take it back. Yeah, yeah. So this this canvas back is is turning out, uh, you know, really really well for for Elsie because the canvas back. You know, now that now that Ace has has the Raven, I mean that that canvas back is like, you know, is is just the kind of bird you you're hoping for because with the Raven, of course, you want to make sure that you're able to to draw a lot of cards. So uh, that that canvas yeah. back is, is working out really well for Elsie for for a number of reasons. Elsie's is going to have to make sure that she doesn't give free cards to Ace. Mm -hmm. you, you, that canvas back, in my opinion, is just a nice four-point starbird with four eggs. It should not get activated uh, during this game at all unless she develops some amazing tuck engine and, and just needs it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things that you know, one of the traps that people can can fall into, I, I you know I know I have, and, and you have everybody has, where where you think, okay, I've I've got this power, I need cards, like I'll take an extra card, but it's you know the, it, it's so important in this game to to look at, you know, not only okay, how does this how does this help me, but how does this you know help or 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 hurt my opponent, and you you kind of have to consider the you know that impact uh, of both you know how does this help me how does this help my opponent and and kind of weigh that that balance before you choose to activate a power so i'm i'm hoping and i, I you know i absolutely agree and i'm i'm hoping she uh you know senses that mm. so they're just choosing to draw one bird at a time because they don't have the food to get anything down and there's no rat in the the tray to be able to make sure that they have the this is definitely a a slow start yeah it's it's this is i mean it's it's elsie is in just such a stronger position here i mean you know ace is really feeling the the effects of that kind of early that that starting hand decision where they they didn't really leave themselves the ability mm. to to generate food. I mean, even a bird like you know the the red cross bill like they had. I mean, it's not the bird. It's it's not a bird that you're you're in love with. But at at least you know you you can you can get two pieces of food a pull. Um, so yeah, it's just this is. This is I mean. Uh, I don't think slow exactly uh, is 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 quite quite strong enough a word for this start. Unfortunately, it's just uh, yeah they're 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 going to be in 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 real trouble. Um, I'm I'm really surprised. I mean, I know that they're just trying to get food here, but that Carolina Wren would have actually been really good for Ace. Mm -hmm. Um. Due to the fact they've got the woodpecker down, they could have got that um, and r really um, gener got a lot of card generation, uh, well, two card generation, two birds mm -hmm. down, um, when you've already got a lot of food generation in the, the raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here, here is where uh, the the tempo starts to starts to pick up for Ace because that that house finch is just an ideal bird. I mean, they can get the raven down get the food for the finch, get the finch down, and now all of a sudden they've they've got a really strong uh, you know, engine for for uh, you know, kind of building up birds there in in the grasslands. So that was uh I mean the house finch is is you know, if somebody asks they were talking on the server about, you know, okay, what's your favorite bird? Like, you know, for Juice the Phoebe, for Flynn, it's the indigo bunting. I mean I think I don't know, if I had to pick one, I'd certainly be thinking about that house finch because because that bird is you know it's six egg spot so when you're in a position you know like uh like ace is here where you, you know you drop that finch in the grassland you're gonna you know you got to make sure you don't run out of egg spaces the finch is just so good for that so that it's uh it's an amazing yeah. bird. i mean I'm, let me you know i'll <laughs> I'll have my my bromance with the with the house finch right here on <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, and look, I I just I, I really wasn't a fan of Elsie activating the canvas back there. You've just really 
made that house finch so nice, but else looked over and saw they have zero card generation and, and they still chose to give them one. And I, I just think that that's, that's a little short-sighted. Um, and I, and I probably, if I was her, be trying to get that ruddy duck down to have some card generation without actually needing to activate that canvas back at all. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That it also duck... works into their platform builder as well. So that, that's a nice little bonus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Okay. Now they're still giving out those. Wow. Things. Yeah. I don't like that. I, I don't like the fact that you just gave a one for one. Um, the only thing I can think they're thinking is, well, we, we give a one now and then, um, she's maxed out, but she's just going to use it pretty quickly. So, well, right. Yeah. Now she's just played, you know, the, a, a bird that's going to give her more more of those egg spots and and the thing is anytime you're you're giving your opponent extra resources like that you've you've got to think okay uh you know how what is what are they going to be able to do with these resources or or how is this going to free them up to do other things right so anytime that they're that that they're doing that and laying eggs for elsie right that's that's another turn that she doesn't have to go to the grassland and and you know if she had a strong grassland well maybe you, you don't mind so much but uh but yeah i mean here she's got you know she's uh, she awesome. does she, she doesn't have much for for egg generation so uh yeah i i yeah I think but I in saying that um now I, and now i don't mind as much you get that bush tit down in the grassland you get the ruddy duck down you can actually start being able to maximize your additional cards compared to your opponent because you're going to be able to tuck and you're going to be able to gain a lot of cards. You're going to be able to tuck a lot of cards and you're going to be able to do something with it. I think the the, the key, um, and I know I've talked to you about this, is is, is my theory generally is um, only give your opponent stuff when it's going to benefit you. So if they're got a raven give them a whole heap of free food because they've already got free basically free access to food so it doesn't matter you can use your humming birds you can use your phoebes you can use your co-op food birds if they've got gulls then give them free cards you know um the the other sort of caveat to that is where you can use it better than them so if you're giving out free food um but you know that you have a lot of big point birds to be able to maximize that then that's um, that's really, really beneficial to you, and, and on balance, your, your opponent's not going to be able to do the same thing. Um, and, and in that case, I wouldn't have been getting rid of the bush tit, but um, I think that you could have really maxed out that bush tit and and tucked and gained a lot of eggs out of that. Yeah, I mean, every you know, every card that you put under there is two points, right? Because mm -hmm. you're you're tucking a card, you're gaining an egg, and so you know, this is where uh, it's like okay, she gets that she gets that duck down, and then she can get, you know, she can get a lot of cards every time that she goes to the to the wetland, and and you know she gives her a better chance of getting some good birds to play, and of course the the birds that that she pulls that aren't so good just just tuck under the bush shit for two points apiece. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think I would have been looking to to keep that card as well. Get that ruddy duck down. No doubt. No point. Like there's there's no point for smashing down that red runner just yet, considering that um, it it's not going to make a difference to this end of round. You're you're not going to be able to get three birds down in that grassland, so might as well just better generate this. Um, the only thing that's really holding else back here from really competing here is 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 uh food generation yeah and see now this will help her here though where she uh you know being able to get so many cards i mean she can uh you know when she goes to her forest she can at least trade a card for for additional food so uh you know that's a help there and others yeah um do you take fishery manager here one bird one more bird for three points rather than two more birds for three points Oh, absolutely! It's 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 yeah. one fewer bird that you have to play, and it's got uh you know a, a much higher uh, home run potential. Yeah, you know, hundred percent, hundred percent. 
Yeah, I mean, they might have been looking, thinking, okay, like, I've got this great horned owl, that's one more bird uh, towards the towards the, the large bird. But, uh, I mean, if you look at a bird, like... I mean, they could have easily just got the will, will it down, right? Pick, drawn the will it, picked it up, got it down, bonus card, base, or recomplete for the fishery manager. Sure, or the you know, either, or the brown pelican, like either either one, right? I mean, the brown pelican cost you an additional food, but it also gives you three food right back. So yeah, either one could have been, you know, could have gone bang bang. Yeah. Really like this um, nut hatch draw from else. This could get it back into it a little bit. Just being able to get so many points with with her food. Um. It has just taken a little while to get get there. Oh, the coot. The coot's nice, and, and, and I'd probably be trying to get that down if I was ace. A lot of egg spots, tuck birds, so that you can um, generate some more cards to, to work out what they want to do. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and they can, I mean, they can get that down in, you know, in in one turn, right? It's just that, well, I guess two turns, because they've got to pick it up, right? But it's like, yeah, you can get the food. You well, can... not necessarily one, one turn, just um, use a house finch. Get rid of one of your, like, the the bowl nest um, right, right, right. bird there. Because you want cards, you don't really want the exit from, from that. So the coots, in my opinion, far better than that, that waterland bowl nest that they have that's a tuck and lay eggs. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, because the you know the the blackbird there is yeah it's it's gonna eat a card like they need to they need to generate cards so that they can get some they can get exactly birds down, more birds to cycle through that that finch so so yeah. Oh look at that chickadee! Um, as much as it's probably a little bit late, I, I really love the. Double nut hatching and a chickadee generating a whole heap of uh, points via via food. Oh, um, oh yeah, it's oh. slightly too late to do to do that. Oh yeah, early on that would be, yeah, that would be that would be terrific. So what? Eh? Yeah, what's uh, what should these players be looking to do now? I mean, you've got you know we're kind of people think you know we always ask the question right? What's what's the end game? Right, and I think people don't realize uh, often that you know that the end game, like you're kind of approaching your end game now. Like the end game is not the last round, right? It's 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 no. much more than yeah, it's much more than that. So I, I would normally uh, say the last eight eight turns, the last two of the the third, and uh, sorry, the seven turns, the last two of the third, and last five, unless of course you you happen to set up an amazing. Um, engine really, really early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, I mean, Ace has, you know, they've only got nine cards, or nine, uh, you know, nine cards between what they've played and what's in their hand. So uh, they're probably going to want to look to go to... This Woodpecker you know, Warbler would be a really nice combo. Um, just generates a lot of egg spots for them um balances things out a bit more as well as um just um get, get some another bonus card as well although having such limited eggs the bonus cards aren't i'm sorry not limited eggs limited cards down uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be going to be quite difficult yeah and the the advantage of the warbler versus you know versus the owl uh is that you know i mean they can get it down and and one more turn right but it, because those those three food birds with the raven are always a little trickier uh just because Sh you surely you get rid of this first bulb bird, bird. what well, i don't understand getting rid of that bird right there to be honest yeah yeah i mean i think they could have you know they could have gotten that gotten that warbler down with the woodpecker um i'm i'm not sure and they could have done it next turn yeah yeah I mean, so it's, that's I don't. That's I don't yeah, get their fascination with this bird. To be honest, like I don't understand when they've drawn a couple, they've 
for a dunce off why they're trying to keep this bowl bird. It doesn't work towards their bonus cards. It doesn't work towards anything else. Um, the Warbler was just, to be honest, just like clearly a better play. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. I mean, I, I guess maybe they're thinking, uh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, then maybe they want to get another another wetland bird down, but um, you know, they I think the the coot would have probably worked worked better in that scenario, but uh, yeah. yeah. So what's the plan now? Try and get the two rats, yeah. Yeah, it's a real that. shame also that they've um, just not been able to find another enclosure builder. Although they probably would have run out of X bases if they were smashing that um that meadow lark already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm surprised that else has gone with the Willet here. Um. I'm assuming that um, Elsa's idea is lay five times eggs. Mm -hmm. um, I think they could have potentially got six out safely. Um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be real interesting. Is that I'm having a little trouble seeing the last end of round. Is that uh, platform birds? Platform birds, okay. Eggs on platform board birds, but not total amount of eggs. It's like total amount of birds with yeah, eggs yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. So at gotcha. the moment, it's three to ace and potentially four to um, else when she just goes crazy laying eggs on these last couple of turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why you'd be leaving that warbler, yeah. Although the common loon, see this, this is an interesting play. Like I, I'm not a huge fan of playing this blackbird, um, but we'll just sort of see what the ideas are here for our friend. I think else has to go real boring here. I think that the plan is just lay eggs for five turns, right? Yeah, I mean, lay eggs, hope you get, uh, some good some good hunts you know you're looking at three points uh, per turn minimum and and five maximum uh plus you know you're you're looking strong for the for the end of round although once uh, ace gets that owl down oh i don't know that like, the tuck there's the that oh. was oh wow they pulled the woodstock that's pretty lucky but the oh yeah the uh, um, Loon there actually worked with large birds that the the um, nothing else did excluding their owls. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have tucked that away if that was me. Yeah, well, they, it looks like they only need one more down to hit the hit the minimum on that. They've got three more plays. I mean, the the warbler is a nine point bird for two food with their with their food web expert. Yeah, um, and then you are they know, either? Um, yeah, they're, they're only one. Are they only one away? I thought they were two away for the large bird one. Uh, no, they they just showed it in their their own. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they got the, the raven, well. raven and the and the hawk. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, and I would I would be looking to play the, you know the the wood stork over the over the owl just because of the, you know it's you're you're likely I think to get. Uh, more than two points out of your out of your bonus yeah. card. Yeah, but they do have a very limited amount of cards, so maybe 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 not. There's probably a lot of big donuts that they could pull out of bonus cards with the limited amount of cards that they have down. Yeah, uh, yeah, fair. That's fair enough. Yeah, so I think for them, they look, they lay eggs, then they they lay eggs, they tuck the stork, and get the food for warbler. the warbler. And play the warbler for for an, a final eight point turn. Yep, for sure. For sure. I like how smart Elsa's being with this. She's just playing the real um, good end game to smart it might be boring it's not quite as fun as just like digging for some big cards or, or grabbing that swallow and, and tucking wet she's playing making some real i think just real smart decisions here 
Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Unfortunately for her, I mean, Ace, even with the slow start, like Ace is, has, you know, done well, a good job of, of setting up some some big point, uh, big point plays here at the end. So I do think my maths is right that the Willet is probably a, was a mistake from Else. It was a two point play. It didn't work for anything. Um, Else already had won birds. Um, mm -hmm. And the potential of laying three eggs, and then the 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 hunter, the hawk, and the roadrunner was was a better play than the willet, and they wouldn't have run out of egg spaces. So that was a, if this is close, then that, that was a slight mistake with one turn to go left in the the third round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anytime you're you're you know doing just a a pure two point play. Uh, at the end, you know, that, especially that, late game, yeah, yeah, that that doesn't involve, you know, uh, you know, gaining some resources or something, and yeah, that's uh, that's tough. All right, get the get the race going here. Else, pull this back just enough to get through. Um, get take this to a game three. I don't. No, I think that the tux here is going to be oh, huge for wow, Ace. Another close yeah. One. Wow. Yeah, and Ace, Ace, Ace gets it. Ace goes through in two. Let's bring our people in. Another close game. Another close game. Well done to to Ace and and commiserations else. Yup. <laughs> Unlucky friend, unlucky. I saw like the the soul meadow lark at the end of round one, and it took me forever to realize that like, oh no, I'm about to get ravened. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be to be fair, Ace had a really really rough starting five, and then just blind draw and draw raven. <laughs> it was. Oh. <laughs> draw raven. It's gonna be a tough game for me. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So. Um, but well, well done, Ace. Thanks. You definitely, after a, a very slow start, started pulling it, pulling it right back. Yeah, thanks to the Raven. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you know, you got to still, even when you get these good cards, you still got to use them, use them well to to make sure you get the win. And Elsie kept it real tight there with you, and end up only losing by three. Very tight. Total, total of four points over the two games between the two of you. Any uh, any words that you wanted to say else before we sort of wrap it up? Did you did you have any sort of parting words for the tournament? Uh, well, I made a bet with Flan that if I won one game today, I would have to go out and make a snowman for him since we got a blizzard yesterday. But I've been saved from digging out my old snow boots. Nice. Well done, Elsa. And my, uh. my luck in rubber duck tournaments seems to be better than my luck in wingspan. Yeah, yeah. Rubber Duck Tournament win. So, what about yourself, Ace? Any any, uh, any winner's speech lined up, prepared from earlier? Yeah, it's, it's a very good game for Elf, from Elf, and yeah, very, very tight, both of them. So it's very well played. Hope awesome. we meet again for the later tournament. I'm sure that will happen. All right, Groove, any, any parting words before we, we, we wrap this up? Uh, no, I just, I'm just i taking a look at the at the bingo card here, and, and we we went black on the, the chat is ignored for a significant time, which is... Uh, which is Probably which the is whole time. Dope. Yeah, uh, let's see. Groove makes dubious analogy. Hit that one. Uh, and, uh, but the one, uh, the, what I'm... What I'm most proud of is that we we didn't check the box for unfunny joke so well done nailed it you can check that now for some reason because someone will think that was a joke but <laughs> well done well done ace um and uh unlucky else uh, definitely look forward to seeing you in future tournaments again and um i hope everyone has a has a great day we've got another tournament game coming up between uh fun bun and Julius 
uh, in a bit over four four hours. Um, and I believe that one is going to be commented by Flan and, and Groove again. Yeah, I will I will be back. Fantastic. They invited, then, me back. They invited you back. And then, then at a very friendly time for the Oceana crew, um, in, in just under 12 hours, we have Reggae Muffin uh, versus uh, Australia's very own uh, Deviled Egg. Nice. Yes. All right. Well, let's call it at that. And um, everyone have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Later.